Hey, what's going on guys? My name is KJ Whippy and welcome back to Outlast Whistleblower DLC. There's a desk here. Somebody chucked it out of a window. Probably the window that I fell out of. But in the last one, we came across a very screwed up dude who was uh, trying to cut off our giblets and tell us that we are stupid and that we should love him and then tried to kill us. Um, I don't think that's okay. I got a little book here that I can read for my troubles. All right, patient Eddie Gluskin. Oh, we get to learn about him. Therapy status. Lucid dreaming figures remain as murky as ever. Gluskin claims near constant control of his dream state, yet correspondence between his narrative and REM cycles. Highly ary arrhythmic REM and REM. Uh, morphogenic engine activity plateaus at 90 ppm. Diagnostics. Heavy bronchial accumulation. The rashes associated with hormone therapy have receded and vanished since we stopped using latex tubing. Um... Gluskin remains a frustrating interview subject. He's still trying to tell us what he thinks we want to hear, while studiously avoiding certain elements of the truth. His childhood remains an obvious fiction. He's claiming to have grown up in Leave It to Beaver, despite a traumatically violent ongoing sexual experience that is a matter of public and medical record. With the photographs his father and uncle took, he responded with a mixture of laughter and anger and restraints were issued. He similarly refuses to discuss his victims, both categorically and specifically. When I showed him pictures of the women, he would not admit that they were dead or mutilated. He is claiming advancement in the morphogenic engine program that he's not yet achieved. Said that he could clearly hear the voice of the wall rider just by closing his eyes. Clearly, he's still trying to curry the favor of his doctors. I won't speculate at what he expects to gain by it. So, man was abused as a child and therefore was traumatized enough to start abusing everybody else. Makes sense, I guess. Um, alright, cool. Um, I do want to apologize for the frame rate, uh, dropping in the last couple episodes. I know that, uh, not exactly fun to watch, but I still uploaded them because- I'm just going right back in! Wait, this is the same elevator! This, yeah, this is the same elevator, Chef. Why am I going back in? Um. But, uh, yeah, if, uh... I, I know that that's kind of a frustrating thing to have to constantly experience, but I do appreciate those of you who did watch those episodes. And if you haven't, please consider going and watching them because the story is very hugely important. Uh, keep track of... This door needs a key! Why don't I go get one? Hello? Any batteries? No. Folks are stomping around everywhere. Not very fun. Don't open the one that's open. No. Why would we do that? I also don't like that I'm Limpy McGee now. Because it just makes it more dangerous for me. Am I going up here? Seems so. Whoopsie poopsie. Oh! Hi! Well, it turns out your hiding spot didn't do so well for you. Oh my god. This is what I saw out that window. Wherever that was. Yeah, let's go in here. Oh, this sucks. What did I get in my notes? Oh, there's two. A man's body, oh, this is from the thing that I blurred in the last episode, uh, mutilated and bent to mimic or mock the moment of birth, the kind of thing a man cannot see without changing in some irreparable way. Uh, Lisa, I was with you when both our boys were born. It was until recently the most miraculous thing I'd seen, completely outside of reasonable belief, and yet somehow central to everything I've come to believe since. You've always said I was too literal-minded, tried to turn everything into an if-then statement. Lately, I've widened my horizons. How can the things I've seen here be? But I know the answer. Money. Profit. Things we made just because we could. Alright. Bluebeard's wives. Bodies hanging like wet laundry, like skinned rabbits. Men mutilated, hunted, and murdered. The shortest distance between any two points separates violence and ruined lust. Whatever story he's telling himself, he's not, he's not making women to bear his children. He's making women to kill them. Lisa, I want you to burn this place in any evidence it ever existed. Any... <laughs> Lisa, I want you to burn this place and any evidence that ever existed to the ground. Destroy the Murkoff Corporation. Bury it in shame. Take away its money. Wipe it from history. This man thinks he's in love. He thinks the therapy made him better. Everything reeks of death and fear. Piss and coppery blood. Meat decomposing to game. Wow. Stringing us up like the next trophies. 
Oh, so that's what he meant when he said you're not even worth stringing up was this. Yuck. Yuck indeed. Now, you ain't still wander- Oh, dude, you're- You got, like, eaten halfway through, bro. That's no bueno. Now, is he in here? Oh. Oh good. Oh good. I'm squeezing. Okay. Peace. Oh come on, you little cripple go. Okay, come on. Gonna play toesies? Huh. I'm going. I'm booking it. Come on, Limpy. Up. All right. Hello again, friend. I'm okay. All right, cool. Nailed it. Let's get out of here. <gasps> oh, okay, hi. Ow. One more. Ow. 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 You can hang. I can rest. Hey. Oh no. Is this how I die? Is this how he dies? Oh no. Because I feel like we're getting close to the end. Hi. Ew. Heavier than you look. If this is you on the honeymoon. Hate to imagine. Let go. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hold still. God damn it! What are you? Oh, damn it, darling! No, you need to be. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm wiggling. Oh, what? Got you yoinked up? Oh, he got shanked. Well, that happened very conveniently. Oh, ouch. I mean, you totally deserved it. Poetic justice. Oh, a new recording. He's dead. The amateur surgeon, father to be, husband. His guts shredded and pulled from his belly. I'm trying not to laugh. Oh god, Lisa, I swear to you, I'm trying. Yeah, sucks to suck, loser. Is this it? Mail ward? No, I don't think it is, then. It's horribly quiet. Oh, loading. Oh! <gasps> this is when the priest sets himself ablaze. Ah! A chapel on fire in the distance. I didn't even know we had a church. Where's God when you need him? Yeah! Uh, he's, he's lurking around every corner, waiting for you. 
Hey! Oh! These are the guys that they called for. <gasps> the doctor! Corporate cops, mercenaries, private military contractors, whatever they call them now, they're as helpless as the rest of us. Need to get out, escape. Yeah, I don't think they are here to help me. I think they're here to slaughter me where I stand. So I'm gonna... You know, I think I was just proven correct. If I'm lucky, I won't run into any of them. Hello, battery. Thank you. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I'm just gonna go. Oh, shoot. Wait, am I not limping anymore? I'm not limping anymore! Hey! I'm no longer KJ Limpy. Yeah, that fire is really going. So I, that 12 hours. I'm gonna shut that. Um, that 12 hours really did uh, do something then. Cause this is right at the time that, uh, well, what's his name? Miles, Miles, uh, Gimbley, Miles, Fred. Upshur, Miles Upshur, yuck. Y'all are staying in the carpet. Um, yeah, that's cool. I like that. That's cool. It's a nice little tie together moment. Oh, that's bolted in. That is straight up bolted. All right, cool. These doors kind of blend in. Jeez, that's also bolted in. Oh, am I getting back to the to the main area? Um, excuse no, I didn't mean to shut that. Uh Murkov Ard Zeichner facility. Level triple black security protocols include chemical restraint, physical restraint, and separate adaptive hyperbaric chambers are to be used at all time in transit. Chemical stimulation is highly recommended for all personnel within 500 meters of the patients. Attempts at communication should be assumed to be hallucinations and disregarded. Facial disfigurement should not be taken as a sign of lost acuity. They are physically blind, but not unseeing. Security clearances from Project Wallrider will not apply to information regarding patients. Blah, 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 blah. New security clearances will be issued and appropriate protocol assigned. Okay, so basically they're just super uptight about everything that exists in this world. Oh, I didn't expect that to open. New stuff? What is that? What, what, what is that? Hey, don't blurt. I can't read that. So I'm not gonna try. Okay. What's behind door number three? These strings are gorgeous. Is there anybody pooping in here? Anybody taking a big old stanker? Dropping a big old foopy? That's bolted. Oh my god, this is the entrance! Okay, hold on, I want to check this out real quick. Okay, never mind. Oh my god, this is literally the entrance! Holy cr- Hey! It's Mr. Man! He's dead. Uh, he's probably gonna come back and kick my butt or something. Any goodies over here for me? No? Any little piggy or no, no? That's also bolted. That's bolted. That's just locked. Probably bolted on the other side. Alright, cool. Let's go down. Let's go say hi to Mr. Suit Dude. Dude. <gasps> Grandpa's wheelchair! Still overturned. Mr. Park. You're still alive. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta read my note. <sighs> Jeremy Blair, my supervisor's supervisor. A man who'd see me skinned, salted, and raped for a promotion and a few martinis. 
injured, dying if he's not already dead. I'm trying to feel sorry for him. Really, I am. But there's no way in hell he's stopping me from getting out of this godforsaken place. I'm coming home, Lisa. Make a deal? Y you help me? Uh, I'll help you. Uh, help me up. Please? No! Oh, you're just gonna get up. Ah! Oh, god dang it, no! No one can know! No one! Oh, took a nice bath in the marinara. Where's Frank? Frank, I got some goodies for ya! Am I fine? Am I okay? We good? All right, cool, I'm fine. Just gonna get out of here. Am I, oh, I'm limpy. I'm a hobbly gym again. All right, can I take one of your guys' trucks or am I gonna take Miles' car? God, this music! Oh. This is so cool. This is so cool. I love this. So, apparently, I, I'm led to understand from the ending of the original game that Miles is still alive just as the wall rider now. Um, so, I'm pretty sure that was him that just saved my life. So, that's pretty cool. Unless it wasn't, and it was just... I'm taking your car, bro. I hope you don't mind. Uh-oh. Wait. Hold on. Miles? Or Billy? Billy? There's a man up there. Hello. Yeah, that's Miles. Hey. Did I do it? You press that button. It's not going back, Mr. Park. I did it. There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Murkoff. You got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoics with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, there'll be nothing to Murkoff but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. But once you click upload, your life is over. Okay. Everyone you love is fucked. That's fine by me. But it's the right thing to do. That's screw these guys is over. Murkoff worth that much to you? Yes. Press the button. Press the button. Upload footage. Yes! I'm the winner! Yes! All right. That was so fun. A lot shorter than uh, the original game, but really fun nonetheless. It did feel like it was a separate part of the game, which it was, but it was like it it felt awesome to play. This was so fun. New scares, familiar faces, but new scares. It genuinely was so good. I was disgusted. I was scared. It was really fun. I had a really good time playing this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this series. Um, I'm hoping to play the second game relatively soon. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And in the meantime, if you'd like the video, if you'd subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. But I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, I love you all. Goodbye.